out of all our vast array of nightmares. This is the one we choose for ourselves. We go forward like a breath exhaled from the earth, with vigor in our hearts and one goal in sight. We will kill him. Hey guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back. Your Shabtis here with another video. We are going to be doing a cyberpunk video, guys. I'm so glad to be doing a video on cyberpunk. I've been kind of planning on doing videos for this game once it launched. But despite all the negativity and all the controversy going on with cyberpunk right now, uh, it kind of sucks, you know, um, that the game came out in a buggy state. But I was able to finish uh, the game uh, the whole way through uh, without any problems. I did have some bugs, you know, some quest breaking bugs it gets very irritating i know guys but despite all the negativity and controversies going on about cyberpunk i wanted to bring something positive to the table i want to definitely do a lore video on you know a character that we all know kiana reeves aka johnny silverhand so guys let's get into the video enjoy johnny silverhand originally born as robert john linder is a very well-known and influential artist in America, an ex-U.S. military veteran who defined the rocker boy movement to what it is today. He was the lead singer of the band Samurai, and one of the most prominent figures that fought against the corrupted U.S. government and the mega corporations. Johnny concentrated most of his anger to the Eric Sako Corporation, due to them kidnapping his girlfriend leading to her supposed death, which may or may not be in his fault. He's charismatic and quite the charmer. However, Johnny is known to be irrational, impulsive, and a manipulator, often being described as a terrorist. Johnny has a temper and seems to always be on edge, mostly due to his history in the Central American conflict. His dedication and ambitions are what keep him going, but at the end of the day, he doesn't care much about the people around him, as long as they are used to accomplish his goals. In 2077, Johnny is as ambitious as ever. He has his own agenda. He wants to accomplish and plans to use V to get to it. It's up to them whether Johnny is to be trusted or not. 2000s. Robert John Linder was born November 16, 1988, and later enlisted into the U.S. military as a young age. And it didn't, didn't take long to see some action. The Central American conflict started in the 2000s. The conflict was devastating. As the war was run by a corrupt and manipulative go government. However, when the secrets were exposed, many of the American soldiers dropped their banners as they fought back by the, the deserting the military. The government used its influence to create a powerful propaganda campaign to make sure the American public hates deserters. John was also one of the men who decided he wouldn't fight a corrupt war that ultimately led to him losing his arm. He went back home to Night City and began his new life. The military and war had changed his life forever. To forget his past, he even changed his name to Johnny Silverham. His last name would represent the cybernetic arm that replaced already missing limb. Johnny began his mission of rebellion to expose the corruption by starting a band. The name of this band was called Samurai. Johnny started this band with his friend Carrie Iridine originally only playing in the Backstreet Clubs. In 2003, while playing in a bar called Rainbow Candiza, a producer by the name of Jack Masters discovered them and signed them up for, with Universal Recording. Samurai was comprised of the co-founders Johnny and Carrie, as well as Denny, Nancy, Bess, Isis, and Henry. His music became revolutionary, starting the rocker boy movement and becoming an overnight sensation. He rose to the top of the US charts in the record time, with his band. However, despite their success, Samurai struggled as a personal issues made it to the surface. Keyboard player Nancy was in an abusive relationship at the time. She reached a point where she could not take this abuse anymore and pushed her boyfriend out of a window. After the NCPD discovered the body, she was arrested and taken to prison. Without her, Samurai struggled and finally split up in 2008. Johnny Silverhand was still one of the most popular musicians at the time. He planned to take his star power to begin a solo career and continue to push his anti-corporation and anti-government message. 
TBS Music wanted to sign him, so desperately that they blackmailed him, threatening to reveal his true identity as a deserter of the Central American conflict. Instead, Johnny Silverhand signed with Universal Music again, and released an entire album called Sins of Your Brothers, admitting that he was a deserter and revealing all the terrible things the government ordered. The album was widely successful and changed public perception of what it meant to be a dessert. Years later in 2013 after a concert, Johnny went on a walk with his girlfriend Alt Cunningham when she was suddenly kidnapped by gangers hired by the mega corporation Arasaka. Alt and the company of Toshiro was treated to a drink and told she was a valuable asset to the corporation. They wanted her to develop a software called Soul Killer that would be able to download any Netrunner's mind. It was a dangerous software that would have killed anyone whose brain they wanted to download that she was previously developed for her employer, ITS. Johnny made a plan that required precise timing. He gathered a strike team to infiltrate the Arasaka offices so he would be able to save Alt, his girlfriend. On top of that, he called in a favor from all the members of his old band, Samurai. They gathered together and performed an entirely free show that was in front of the Arasaka Tower in Night City. This led to a riot on the tower as troops were called in to control the situation. In a panic, Toshiro used a soul killer on Alt. While the assault took place, Johnny and a team consisting of his ex-girlfriend Rogue and media reporter Thompson infiltrated the tower while Alt was still trapped in the computer trying to get back to her body. The team made it to the bar, where Toshiro, Akira, and Alt were. Johnny looked over at Alt's body and presumed her dead moments. After killing Toshiro out of anger, he then turned to gather up Alt's still warm body, and his arms off the couch disconnecting her. Behind the wall of the monitors, a disembodied Alt screamed in AI space to him, but Johnny didn't hear her at all. She was presumed gone forever in, hype, in the Netrunner space. In 2014, Johnny continued his rebellious acts, this time in Japantown. During his famous free benefit concert to bring attention to the brutal methods the NCPD used to quell on the homeless riots of the same year. Later in the year 2023, Johnny alongside Rogue, Morgan Blackhand, Shatin, Thompson, and Spider Murphy led a Militech assault team on the Arasaka American HQ in Night City with the intention of ending the fourth corporate war by destroying the tower with a mini-nuke. Johnny had another reason for going back to the Arasaka offices. He wanted to find Cunningham, but there were more than a few obstacles in the way. The biggest obstacle was the Borg, Adam Smasher, and once man who was now more machine than flesh. Star Wars quote. Johnny was presumed dead. Gunned down Adam Smasher. His body was never found because of the mini-nuke dropped into the Arasaka Tower. In the aftermath, there was nothing left to find. Johnny was not actually killed at the Arasaka Tower, but was covered by and interrogated by Arasaka security. And later on, Saboro Arasaka himself with a techie, he would be subjected to Soul Killer program. His consciousness scanned and stored onto an engram, as his physical body would die and be disposed of. Ever since Johnny disappeared, people have mourned Johnny Silverhand. There is graffiti all throughout Night City that simply says, where's Johnny? Even decades later, people hold out hope that Johnny Silverhand is somewhere out there, ready to raise some hell and lead the revolution again. And there you have it guys, my very first Cyberpunk 2077 lore video on the man, the myth, the legend, Johnny Silverhand. Guys, if you would like to have more lore videos, please give this one a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below and please let me know how you felt about the lore video and who you would want me to do next. I would really like to keep making lore videos for you guys. It's fun. I really enjoy looking up research and knowing more about these characters as we move forward. Cyberpunk 27 has had a lot of problems, a rough launch, but guys, hopefully we can look past all of this bullshit that's going on, and hopefully the game will get better at a later date. 
I know I want to talk about DLCs, but I think first CD Projekt Red should definitely fix some of the issues in this game. With the recent hotfix that just came out before Christmas, it fixed a little bit of the problems, but hopefully we will see more of a progression once January hits and we get another hotfix coming in the later date. But guys, keep it positive, keep it real. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.